In this video, I'll be talking about the production possibility curves. So what is production possibility curve? It is a curve that shows the maximum output of two types of products and the combinations of those products that can be produced with the existing resources. So the production possibility curve is also known as production possibility frontier or production possibility boundary. Here's what a production possibility curve would look like. So anywhere outside the curve, such as the point X, is where there is not enough resources to produce both the consumer goods and the capital goods. On the other hand, the point inside the curve, such as A, is where there is inefficient use of resources. And then we have the points lying on the curve, such as B, D, and C, and this is where the resources are used efficiently. Now let's look at the shifts in the production possibility curve. So there are two types of shifts in the production possibility curve, and these are outwards and inwards. So what causes the production possibility curve to shift outwards? The curve would shift outwards if there's an increase in your quality and quantity of resources, and these are your factors of production. When the curve shifts outwards, there's an increase in the country's productive potential. This allows them to produce more and increase their output which will lead them to an economic growth. Things like better education and advancement in technology will cause the production possibility curve to shift outwards. Now let's look at why the production possibility curve would shift inwards. The production possibility curve would shift inwards because there is a decrease in the quality and quantity of resources or your factors of production. So when the curve shifts inwards, there's a decrease in the country's productive potential. This means they will produce less and a decrease in output may lead to recession as their GDP falls. For example, natural disasters will cause the production possibility curve to shift inwards.